started this like four times because there's extra pressure in this video. The reason why is because I'm trying to be obedient to my brother, Brennan. Not that I need to be obedient to him, but he suggested that I write out a timeline of my videos. <laughs> so that's what I did. So earlier, I was just going to town, writing out what I would talk about during this Get Ready With Me, because apparently my videos are sporadic and not cohesive and so hopefully my timeline will help the viewer help you follow along my videos a little bit better let's get to it okay so first i'm gonna go in with my born this way foundation <laughs> not me looking at my timeline to see what i'm gonna talk about um okay the first thing i'm gonna talk about is youtube go figure so i started youtube Honestly, like seven months ago, which is crazy. And I love YouTube. I really do. Like all the other social media platforms, I don't really love. But something about YouTube is just home to me. But also I struggle with social media in general about it being about self and how just like the person that's in front of the viewer, the influencer, whatever it is, is just like promoting self. And that's not what I want this channel to be about. And I really struggled that with that for a little bit. And when I took a pause on YouTube, I really wanted my heart to be in the right place when I did it because I truly, even though like I'm recording myself and recording my life, like I don't want it to be, this is my life and it's perfect. And this is the way it should be lived because that is the furthest thing from the truth. And so I hope that is an encouragement to you to use your social media platforms for good and to serve others and love others and even though it's like your platform or your social media page or whatever you can still use it to serve others and put others before yourself so there's that also something that's really exciting i'm gonna go with my nars concealer something really exciting about youtube that i'm going to be doing is i'm going to start posting twice a week so I was inconsistent for a while. I did vlogmas, so I was like posting a lot. And honestly, that was so much fun for me because I really just didn't care about my videos. Not that I put like less effort into them, but like I just wasn't as like attached to them being perfect. And it was just more like raw and real, which I like that style more than it just being like this like picturesque video you know what i mean i don't know if you know what i mean but hopefully you know what i mean and so i am gonna go to posting twice every week which is really exciting so i'm thinking that i'm gonna do fridays and mondays and just like stay consistent with that i'm gonna take a little break in september for like a month or two just to be present and then of course i'll take you along with all of the baby content because I'm so excited for that. So this is like a perfect transition into pregnancy. So I am currently, I start the third trimester literally this weekend, which is crazy. I can't believe that I'm even saying that. Pregnancy has been awesome. I literally love being pregnant. <laughs> like I've heard horror stories and a lot of people don't like being pregnant. And so I honestly was just going to it expecting that I wouldn't like it, but I love it. I love, my favorite thing is like feeling him kick in my womb. I thought that you just felt your baby kick like once every week, if you're lucky, like once every day. I didn't realize like you feel them kick all the time. Like it's like, if you haven't been pregnant before, they kick you all the time and it's like so fun and cute and i'm gonna go in now with a rare beauty in the shade grace and just tap it on my cheeks and my nose now our baby like isn't as huge as he will be he's like two pounds and he'll get really big and i think when he gets big that's when people are like it hurts so bad because they're like kicking your ribs and stuff like i haven't experienced that like all i experience is the really really cute kicks and I am loving the cute kick stage. I love the cute kicks. Next, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I literally forgot what I was saying. 
something else about pregnancy is you forget what you're talking about you put like ketchup bottles in the spice cabinet you just do a lot of things because pregnancy brain is real so now i'm just gonna go on with the hulu bronzer and do this on my eyelids i honestly this is my favorite eyeshadow trick because it's just easy also i didn't tell you where i'm going tonight so tonight greg and i are going on a date night and we're going to charleston which is going to be really fun. I honestly have never been there. My mom said I was there. Like, I went there when I was little, but I do not remember that at all. And so, I think we're going to go on King Street and look at the shops and then get dinner tonight, which will be really fun and exciting. And I don't know what I'm wearing because when you're pregnant, you don't fit in anything. And I, like, refuse to buy pregnancy clothes. Maybe I will for, God willing, like, our second pregnancy. Like, I will buy more pregnancy clothes but this one i'm just like i'm at the point now where it's too far to like buy them i'm just like i just don't want to but nothing fits so that's my issue so dresses have been a game sa saver a lifesaver and yeah i can't fit in any of my pants i had a dream last night this is the rare beauty mascara like a tester size cadence gave this to me my little sister and i love it lastly of course i'm going to do lips i'm just going to go with this really pretty lip color i honestly don't even know where i got this it just kind of showed up one day do that and then i'm going to go over it with a boxum lip gloss i straighten my hair that's what the hair style i'm going to do today i recently have been loving like the middle school hair straighten I kid you not, every day in middle school, I would straighten my hair. And in high school, too. I don't know what it was. Like, I just felt like my hair just needed to be pinned straight. But I am, like, loving that again. So, that's what I'm going to be doing. And, guys, this is a win. This is a huge win. Do you want to know what the win is? I stuck to the timeline. I did everything that I was supposed to do. So, that's a win. Now let's get me dressed and get me ready for the night. First things first, gold hoops. If you know me, you know I always have hoops in. And when I am wearing any outfit remotely, not a sweatshirt, I always have my big hoops in. Okay, I just have to show you something funny. I had a dream that these shorts I'm wearing right now um, fit me, but I think I was dreaming like wishful thinking because I just tried them on to see if the dream was true and the dream led me astray because this is my current situation they do not fit and my huge belly is hanging out but cute if I wanted to like take some photos right now but that's not the vibe I think I'm gonna wear is this pretty little like pink beachy flowy dress great for a pregnant woman with these sneakers i think the pinks and like the tropical vibes kind of go together so i'm gonna see if this looks cute and then also i'm gonna might pair it with like a jean jacket or at least bring a jean jacket in case i get cold so let's see how this looks okay we're currently in baby's room so there's like literally nothing in here because we have to still do his nursery but hi rocky this is the current situation. And here is the bump update. So crazy. Okay guys, well that's it for this video today. Thank you guys so much for walking, for walking with me. Thank you for walking with me today. Thank you for watching and I love you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a blessed weekend.